Okay, got a little bit cut off there. So staying in seated supine spinal twist on the left. And when you feel complete, You could inhale, untwist, exhale, remove the foot from the chair, and sweeping the feet out wide to a wide angle, the widest angle that you can between your knees, sitting up nice and tall, bringing the feet to a wide angle as well. Inhale to sweep the arms out and up. Exhale to interlace the fingers. And then breathing in this interlaced fingers with a wide leg and simply creating a tall and wide stance as if you were a pressed flower being closed between the pages of a book. You could send the gaze, allow the gaze to flop back. Or you could keep the crown of the head nice and long, stacked on top of the spine. Exhale to release the hands, bringing the feet back in front of the chair. Palms and soles of the feet resting. And now you want to position yourself so that your left foot is flush against the floor and the right foot is able to come up with the right knee bent, resting on the surface of your chair. Again, making sure you have enough surface area on the seat of your chair that you're able to keep. And again, I'm at a slight angle here personally, but keeping the left knee str uh, facing straight, sort of an L-shaped 90 degree knee bend with the foot flat against the floor, hugging the bent right knee and lengthening the spine. And you could simply stay here if this works for you, making sure that you're not using the back of the chair as a crutch. You're not slumping back into the back of your chair in any way. The spine staying nice and elongated. And on your next inhale, you can sweep the right hand up if you wanted to and place it on the back of your chair. And then the next exhale, you could hold onto the kneecap. And you could twist to the right leading with the ribs, ending with the gaze and the chin, finding the degree of spinal twist that works for you. Experiencing a slightly different experience with the hips because of this position. Not forcing any particular level of twist Just noticing the differences, perhaps, if you're familiar with this asana and how it is when you're sitting in a chair. And exhale, releasing the foot. Inhale to sweep the arms up and above, fingers interlace. Spread the knees nice and wide. Palms together. Soles of the feet grounded down into the mat. And inhale to look up. Flip the interlaced fingers so the palms are facing up and exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale, coming up vertical. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale, looking up. Now we'll go.